This summer, my big project was painting this mural. I love the process of painting it, so I thought it would be fun to show others how I did it in a video. So here it is, and I hope you enjoy watching this video, and let's get right into it. Here you can see my first sketch. I did it in class and even though it wasn't that good, I really liked the idea. So I decided to develop it on my computer. For that I used the program GIMP. My main focus was on putting all the values right so it looked well balanced. I changed the shapes a lot and I experimented with different flowers and forms. After I had put in some work, I was really happy with the result. Once I had finished my sketch, I started to organize everything I needed to paint it onto my wall. I ordered some paints and brushes and I also organized a scaffold. I also borrowed a beamer with which I projected the big forms of the sketch onto the wall. Here you can see how I redraw the outlines with chalk. Like this, I was sure I had the proportions right and it's just much easier with a beamer. The next day I mixed my colors and started painting. I used a lot of tape because the shapes in the background needed to have straight and clean lines. In the afternoon, some friends joined me and I was really happy about that because painting in company is just much better and filling in the big shapes was more work than I thought. The day was crazy because I painted for so many hours and me and a friend continued until it was dark. It was a very productive day and I was really happy about that. Now the entire background was finished and the only thing that was missing were the black lines. On day 3 I drew them onto the wall with chalk. I think chalk is the best medium to use in this case because like this it's really easy to make corrections and I needed a lot of them because I did it freehand and the big difficulty of drawing and painting on such a big surface is that you never see the entire piece at once while you are painting it. Because of that it's very important to sometimes step back some meters and look at the entire painting. Like that, you can check if everything is where it needs to be. Then I started painting the black lines with a brush onto the wall. At first, that was not that easy for me, because they didn't always have the same thickness. At the beginning, it seemed like a never-ending process, but after a while, you get into the flow and it becomes easier and you get faster. I was really happy when I finally finished the mural. It took a lot of hours and a lot of patience, but I think every second was worth it. And I'm glad that I invested a lot of time into the preparation part, because I think it was the most important one. Like that, I had a good basis for the next steps. And it was the first time that I painted something this big, so I was really excited. And I think with this project, I learned a lot. First of all, I learned how to develop an idea to such a complex project. 
there were so many things that went wrong like the scaffold didn't really have space so I didn't know where to put it but at the end all problems were solved and I'm really happy to conclude this project successfully. I also learned to be a little more patient and consistent because at the beginning the painting process seemed never ending and I spent a lot of hours just painting but I feel like during these hours I also improved my painting skills. I really love the process of painting this mural and I am looking forward to new projects. <laughs>